Everybody, happy Wednesday. Sorry, I um, was on and my phone died, so gotta love technology. It's charging now, so we're golden. All right, so I hope you guys are all having a good Wednesday. Let's get into it. Wait for a couple people to get on. Am I live? All right, good, I am live. Get into it. Wait for a couple. Mute that. Hello, hello with everybody watching. You guys all at work? Remember guys, any questions you guys have, use this as a Q&A, absolutely. Um, type in your questions and then after I go over a topic, give you guys all that good info on how to get the best night's sleep ever, what I use, what I take. Um, and then I'll go at the end and do the live Q&As and answer all your guys' questions while you guys are at lunch and at work and for all the stay at home moms right now watching too. Um, get some of these out right now. So a lot of people always have trouble staying asleep or even falling asleep. That's my problem. My head is always racing with different ideas in my head. Um, so I'm always struggling with falling asleep. Um, I've been taking different things and over the years I've figured out what works great and what actually keeps me asleep and I stay asleep to where I'm actually waking up before my alarm some days and feeling great and not wanting to hit snooze because I didn't have to because I feel like I got enough sleep. Um, it's a huge game changer when that happens. But am I not logged into? Oh, I'm not. That's funny. All right. I'm logged into my other one. It's not good having so many different Facebook pages. <laughs> um, sorry guys, bear with me here. I will get into it. It always takes me a couple seconds because I always gotta share everything out so more people can see this and knowing that I can help more people. Because sleep is literally the most important thing for your body. Um, not only nutrients, food, and all that good stuff, but sleep is very important. Because um, if you're not getting enough sleep, you don't have enough recovery time for your workouts, you're super groggy the next day, it's bad for your brain, just sleep is fantastic for you all around. Um, I know a lot of you guys are hitting me with a lot of questions. Um, you guys, if you haven't checked out my Slim Down program, um, go check it out. I literally, it's a full nutrition part one, breaks down everything of what I do, what I have my clients do to get ready for summer, how to lose fat off the body um, quickly and healthy where you're not starving yourself. Um, that is super, super important is that you're not starving yourself. Um, but... Other than that, I'm curious, I always love asking this question, who's at work right now watching? Anyone at work right now watching this? Is anyone on lunch? It's 12.45 in Arizona. I know everyone on the east side is all, what is that, like three? It's five, it's three o'clock, four o'clock. Some of you guys are almost getting off work. Um, I think I want to do this one. Perfect post. All right, cool. Got that. Also, guys, I have a podcast now. It's going to be hitting iTunes, little iTunes podcast, Google podcast, um, the Samsung one. Um, you can even do, get it on the Amazon, on the Echo and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if it's out. It takes a couple days for it to launch and get approved. Um, so I did it last night. It'll probably take about another couple days. Friday, it should be on there. It's just Fuller's Nutrition. Just look it up on podcast and it should be there. Um, but go check it out. Make sure to subscribe on there. And I'm going to do my Slim Down program on there. Judith, three at work. Nice. Um, how are you doing? I haven't talked to you in a while. I haven't seen you on here. Um, what's up Paige? How are you? 
So definitely go check it out. So I'm gonna do, I'm, there's gonna be a ton of awesome content on there. I'm gonna put them on YouTube too, so you can listen to them on YouTube. And I know a lot of people are listening to podcasts when they're at the when they're work, at work, when they're driving to work and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try and make as much content as I can and do it on the podcast. I'm gonna do my slim down program on there. I'm gonna do my entire workout program on there too. So when you're at the gym, you can literally, right when you get to the gym, you can play the podcast. It'll be a breakdown of that workout. Um, for the weights section, and then hit pause, start listening to music, get done with the weights, and then there'll be the core section, and then I'll have the interval cardio section on top of that too. So I'm super excited about it, get all this content out, and hopefully it can help a lot of people. Um, so let's get right into it. Let me start this one. Let me see. Uh, I do delete recording. It's all learning to me on all this stuff. All right, so let's get started on this. What am I taking? How am I getting absolutely the best night's sleep ever? Feeling rejuvenated, waking up, feeling great, staying asleep. When I'm doing this, I usually fall asleep and pretty groggy with about, after taking everything, 15, 20 minutes. I usually do it right before I go to sleep or if I put a show on or whatnot. Because if you're watching TV, if you're on your phone or whatnot before you go to sleep, it's going to stop you from being able to produce the melatonin is what helps you fall asleep and everything like that. So if you're watching TV, um, you're on your phone or tablet, or you just have that radiant, you have that light, it's not gonna, it's gonna stop you from producing the melatonin that helps you fall asleep. So what I take is I will take magnesium and then GABA. GABA is absolutely awesome. It helps with stress relief. Um, it relaxes you. It de-stresses you. It's it. I love GABA. It this stuff works great. And then melatonin three is what I'll also take on top of it. And then zinc, zinc and magnesium really help with releasing the helping with the melatonin and everything. And it helps with recovery on the muscles and stuff because you really need the minerals to recover from muscle, muscle fatigue, and breaking down muscle and helps with the recovery on all of that. So those are the four things that I take right before I'm about to go to sleep and it helps tremendously. I mean, literally 15, 20 minutes in after taking it, I'll be falling asleep. So I'm not sitting there restless, rolling around. And if I don't take it, that's usually what happens. Um, I'm not taking it all the time. It's just I know like during the week I always do but like on the weekends if I do stay up and I know I can sleep in I don't have to take it But I usually take it on point because even on the weekends I'll still stay up restless and not be able to fall asleep and taking all of this stuff It just relaxes you it releases the melatonin and then the zinc and the magnesium just all play in effect with the GABA um, You can pick them up at any of your health stores um, I just got mine at the local one here in Arizona. Uh, but again, guys, it's just the zinc and then magnesium. You got the GABA. GABA is awesome. A lot of people haven't heard of GABA. I've been talking to a lot of people about it. And it's just, even, even on the label, it even says um, positive feelings, promotes re relaxation, ease nerves, tension, and then vitamin B6. And then the magnesium on the front says helps convert food, cellular energy, um, supports bone health, supports healthy heart function. That's the magnesium. And then the zinc supports healthy immune system, easy absorbs by the body, yada, yada. And then melatonin, that's what's going to help you fall asleep. But I, I trust me, guys, when I say I take this, like it, it's great. You fall asleep, fall asleep fast not restless and you stay asleep, which is super important. More REM sleep and everything like that. And then waking up before my alarm is always a great feeling. You get a couple minutes. That's how it usually is. Like if I have to wake up at eight in the morning, I'm gonna wake up around 7.50 and feeling great. Um, but that's what I'm taking. That's what I take before I go to sleep. Um, it's just all full circle. It works out great. Uh, but other than that, that's definitely what I'm doing. That's my regimen. That's how I what I take before I go to bed. Hopefully, that can help a lot of people out because I know a lot of people. It's hard for people falling asleep, and some people they fall asleep fast, but then can't stay asleep. So that's what I do on that one. Um, but other than that, any questions you guys have, please ask away. 
Um, Paige cheated day for me turned into three months cheat day. Yep. That's why whenever people are like, is it okay to cheat? If you're going to do it or like the whole whoosh thing or whatever, um, as long as you can get right back to it, then it's fine. Because everyone always asks me, well, once I lose all my weight, am I allowed to have this stuff? And my response always is, why would you want to eat crap that you know that's going to make you fat in the first place? So if you know it's bad for you and know it's bad for your body, then why take it in? But to be realistic and stuff, like I get it, you go to weddings, you have birthdays, parties, yada, yada, yada. So like sometimes you might indulge and have something um, feel good food, I guess, because it feels good. I, I get it. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. And what happens is so many people, and just like you said, one day turned into three months. Um, getting back into the grind of things such as eating healthy and exercising so tired. Any suggestions? Absolutely, Paige. So definitely make sure you have your reason why. That is going to hold you to it 100%. Your reason why. Why do you want to get healthy? Why do you want to fit in those skinny jeans? Why do you want to look better? Because it makes you feel good. It's that feel good. Um, it's, it's when, you, when like my thing is like I want to be able to go like when I during the summer like I want to be able to walk around with, with a shirt off and not have to stress about it at all and know I look good. That's what it comes down to. Like not only like yes I want to be healthy. I'm I'm young so I'm not at that point to where I'm like oh I need to be super like I'm health conscious but mine is definitely looks i want to feel good i want to be confident that's my reason why um so whenever i'm looking at the bad foods or if i'm like i'm gonna skip today for the workout i'm like no i want to look good so i have to do this for it to happen um that's it and there's no trick into getting into it just do it start right now if you've had lunch and breakfast that's fine start for dinner Start right now. Go to the gym tonight. Don't be like, I'm going to start tomorrow. If you say that, you said that yesterday. You're just, it's just a full circle. You keep saying, I'm going to start tomorrow. I'm going to start tomorrow. Well, you said that three months ago. So that is definitely my suggestion on it. Have your reason why, and it's going to hold you to it. Have a good, deep meaning why. Um, so like a, like for a good way of how I say this is, if somebody were to tell you to go stand right now in Times Square in your underwear, how did that make you feel just thinking about you doing that? That gut feeling is what you got to have your gut feeling of your reason why. So with that, that'll definitely stop you from eating the crap food and get you back into everything. Um, then once those results start coming, it's hard to stop, but I get it. Complacency is real. A lot of people get complacent. Like, well, I lost, I lost 20 pounds last month, so I'm going to have this cheat and then I'm gonna eat a little bit more crap because I'm still losing. Like one person the other day was like, yeah, I lost a pound and I ate a whole bunch of this crap. I was like, you're getting complacent. Think as if you didn't eat that crap, you would have lost three or four pounds. So um, that will definitely help. Just don't get complacent. It happens to everybody. It happens with me. Um, so definitely you can jump right back into it. Um, yeah, Judith, I've been slacking on the live stuff. Um, I've been super busy. This is the first month going all in with everything. So I've been super busy going to different places and sampling out and everything like that. So don't worry about it. Uh, what's great is I'm gonna, I have podcasts now so you can go in and listen to it wherever you're at and everything. Um, thanks, Judith. Appreciate it. Um, what's a new... <laughs> Paige, I can't tell you. It's a secret. If you watched one of them, I actually slipped. Um... Uh, Paige, I'll tell you, it's about four to, I'm just going to say five to seven business days. It's, it's all different. It depends on where you're at in the region. Where do you, what state are you in? Because like Arizona, California, New Mexico, Utah, Texas, it's about a two to three day turnaround. Um, but like if you're past those, it's usually about four to six days. Most of it's about four days. Most of it is. I'll say four. I, I say five to seven just in case when people like get mad, like what the heck, where's my package? And it shows up two days later, they get a little bit happier. So I'm gonna say five to seven business days, but usually, let's say Wednesday. If you ordered it now, I'll be able to take it into the post office today and it'll ship out tomorrow morning. So hopefully, it just depends on where you're located um, with that. Um... Let me check and see. So a lot of people, let me, I, I just sampling out to everybody, the things that a lot of people are, it's just funny with a lot of people, like when they look at a protein shake and they're like, 
is this a post-workout? Um, it, 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 all a post-workout is is a concentrated amount of protein at one sitting. Um, Kentucky, Kentucky, yeah, it'll probably be about four or five days. Yeah, definitely, you'll get it. You'll get it before school's out for sure. Um, but it's just funny, and a lot of people. And what's what I love too is I'm like, whoa, 50 grams of protein that's a lot. Mm, most of your meals are 50 grams. That's only 200 calories. So it's it's funny whenever people are like, whoa, there's a lot of uh, protein in it. Is that bad? And like, yes, you can have too much of anything. It's bad. You can have too much vitamin D. You can have too much sun. You can have too much water. People can you can drown yourself with way too much water. Um, but it it's just it's it's always funny whenever that stuff whenever people have the lookout oh, and everything. Awesome page. I just got it. Appreciate it. I'll get that all packaged up for you. And um, t -t 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 -t. I will get that out to you. I'll throw a shaker in for you too. Um, I appreciate it. And then t -t 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 -t. it's just, it's just so funny with that. Um, but what else you guys got for me? I'm gonna use this as a live Q and A too. Um, what else you guys got, Judith? I know you said you're at work. Is anyone else at work right now? You guys are all probably off work. It's like four everywhere else because there's one here and everyone's like a three hour difference now with the time change besides everyone on the west coast they all might be at lunch i don't know everyone takes lunch such different times page awesome well i'm just curious what did you take um yeah with this you can just do water but if you add a little heavy whipping cream like an ounce or two you'll get an extra 100 or 200 calories and oh i just i just did mine it's just so yummy. And like normally I was never able to finish the bottom of a protein shake, but with this, it's like chocolate whipped cream. It's great. Um, but yeah, I need to start being more consistent because no one knows when I'm coming on. So there's not a lot of people on and make sure you guys put on the notifications too. So you get that instant notification knowing that I'm live or whatnot. So if you guys have any questions, you guys need help on anything. This is what you could definitely ask. Um, whey protein with PB fit, just whey protein. Yeah, that'll, that'll be gritty. The PB fit. That's one thing too. A lot of people are adding a little bit, like don't add a tablespoon. I had like a pinch of it. You could definitely taste it. Um, but um, No, absolutely not. It's not necessary, Paige. Um, a lot of people think that's that's a problem with a lot of people do is they overdo it. When people say that when people when you hear the term overtraining, what my overtraining is is you're not taking enough calories to actually sustain the workout. So you're burning way too many calories, so you're depleting way too many calories. So if you have that huge depletion of calories, you're not gonna lose. And that's what my overtraining, my term of overtraining is. Overtraining is when you're gonna burn, when you run five miles and you don't take in the calories to still stay in your 25 to 30% of depletion, you're going about 50, 60% depletion of calories then you're gonna run into slowing down your metabolism, gaining more fat, and actually start cannibalizing your muscle mass because it needs calories and proteins, so it's gonna break down your muscle for sure. Uh, but no, you absolutely don't need to. Um, honestly, just a just a good 30, 30 to 45 minute workout will be fine. Just weights, and then if you wanna do some intervals, 
you don't need to sit on a treadmill for 30, 20 minutes. Um, just doing a Stairmaster for 10 minutes of intervals. You go hard for 30 seconds, you stop for 30. You do 10 of those, you're gonna burn a tremendous amount of calories. The intervals are gonna be better because you're gonna still be burning the calories after the workout. But um, definitely to answer your question, you don't need to do it twice a day. Absolutely not. The most important thing, look guys, I give, like, I could have went out of business like that as a trainer because you don't need to work out to lose weight. Everyone thinks you do. The most important thing, everyone overcomplicates everything. This is all you have to do. When I say losing weight is easy, it really is. You just have to do this. That's it. You just have to do it. You have to be consistent. You have to do it every single day. You can't be on. You can't be off here and there because it doesn't work that way. But the easiest way to do it, hit calorie goal. Don't take in any sugar. Try and stay under 20 grams of carbs. Stay low on carbs. Higher fat than protein. And intermittent fasting. Eat all your calories in an eight-hour window. Try and do three meals in there. That's it. That's literally it. And people get so mad at me when I say eating, I mean, losing weight is so easy. Because it, cause it is. It's just, you have to do it. Um, there's just so many things. Like, I'm on this one group and I'm just so sick of commenting on posts because there was a post a little bit ago that said, um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to lose belly fat. Is it bad to drink too much water? I'm just curious. I'm like, where some of this stuff is coming from? Like, ay ay ay. Um... Can I put crystal light packets in my water to take it more? Just be careful with crystal light because it has this steve, not stevia, it has aspartame in it. And I know someone posted that there's no insulin response in aspartame, but I've looked more into it, the aspartame, and it can definitely cause some insulin spikes on there. Yeah, there's no calories, but the calories don't matter if it still raises blood sugar levels. So just be careful with the aspartame. I know it's in crystal light, um, but another what was i doing for water if i wanted to change it up like the gatorade the power power eight zeros will be a good one once you get your fluids in um there's another one out there just check the ingredient on it when you're reading it don't look at the sugar like the sugar will be there or whatnot but look into the actual ingredients on the bottom when it says other ingredients that's where you'll find out where the sweetener is try and stay Try and do something with like succulose or erythritol or swerve or um, stevia. Try and stay around those ones and you'll be a little bit better. But it's so funny. I see so many posts that people are like, I hate water. Like, you hate water? If you're telling me if you were in the desert and you had no water, you would just like, I'm not going to drink it. I don't like water. Um, I, always, I always think it's funny whenever I see the posts like that. Um, but another, I'm trying to think, a uh, lemon, adding lemon, adding lemon to the water is a great idea. That'll give it some flavor. Lemon, you can do the kiwi, you can do the raspberry water, blueberry, I mean, a uh, blackberry. Um, you can also do, um, what's up, Kathy? That's awesome. You're at work right now. I love it. That's cool. Are you listening to your headphones or you literally have it out loud so everybody can hear it? <laughs> um, but lemon water with lime, lime and stuff with that's always great. Um, that's how you can change it up and then you don't have to worry about getting all those sugars and stuff in. But a lot of people always ask that stuff. What else you guys got? Let me go grocery shopping here a little bit. I would always ask too like, with groceries and I need to, I'm gonna, what I'll do is I'm gonna, I'll put on during the slim down program, my entire grocery list too, of what I get. Literally my groceries consist of chicken thighs, um, ribeye steak, depends on what cut. Um, I just usually do ribeye because it's the most fatty and then always ground sausage. And if I wanna do brats some nights, I will get brats. Um, and then eggs and then coffee. That's literally it. If I'm out of, out of apple cider vinegar, but I'm not cause I get the big gallon from Walmart. Um, coconut oil, I'm fine on that one. Um, and then, I'm trying to think of what else I'll get. Just veggies, like my entire freezer is full of veggies right now. Um, green beans, broccoli, that's literally what I have in there. Just all green beans and broccoli. Then I still got cauliflower, rice. 
That's up. That stuff's awesome. If you guys haven't had a cauliflower rice, I would definitely get some. Uh, make cauliflower fried rice. I would make it in the microwave first, heat it up that way, and then get a skillet, put some olive oil in it, and then actually get it crispy, and then add the egg, and then add a hint of some little sauce in there to change it up and everything like that. Um, Paige, so with mine, you don't have to be green. So like cauliflower is gonna be lower in carbs. So like the low carb veggies that I do is green beans, broccoli, cauliflower, and then um, that's that's really it. But like the spinach is gonna be fine. Your leafy greens, yes, they're gonna be lower in carbs. Besides this, um, um, what is that stuff called? Brussels sprouts. There's like eight grams of carbs in Brussels sprouts. I think it's only in six of them. So a lot of people don't know that. Um, but I see a lot of people, a lot of people are asking like how, like my carbs are so high, what can I change on it? Like, and the thing is you gotta watch the veggies. Everyone's like, how do you stay under 20? Like I'm usually 15. I don't do carbs on the first meal most of the time. And if I take two scoops, if I do true meal, um, I'm not taking any carbs on that one either. So my carbs are usually for breakfast, I mean for lunch and dinner. That's usually when I'll do my veggies. Um, Cause I'm always doing the same thing for breakfast. It's, I mean not breakfast, my first meal. Um, I'm always just doing just meat, just protein and fat. So eggs and meat and then um, coconut oil if I need to get more calories in. And then um, lunch, that's when I'll do green beans or broccoli. And then dinner, I'll meat. I'll usually do a ribeye and then fried rice. Um, fried cauliflower, fried rice. Fried cauliflower. Wait, cauliflower. Yeah, cauliflower, fried rice, here we go. <laughs> um, but that's, that's literally it. Everyone overcomplicates everything. And like, yeah, avocados, you're gonna have your carbs. You're about six grams of carbs for half. So if you did a whole avocado, yeah, you're gonna get your fats and but you've got 12 grams of carbs, which is totally fine. See you, Kathy. Um, you don't have to worry about it. it. It's totally fine as long as you just stay in. But if you're doing like, if you're doing about seven to 10 grams of carbs per meal and you do two meals with the veggies, then you're fine. You're still under 20. So, um, a lot of people are saying that they're they can't get their carbs down. Check your sauces. That's definitely gonna drive your carbs up. Your barbecue sauce is loaded in sugar. Um, change change it up too. If you want to do different spices, it's totally fine. Uh, taco seasoning is gonna have a little bit of carbs, so you're fine. Don't stress about that. Um, but like even dressings, like salad dressings, change up with that. It's just pure fat you're adding to it. There's not gonna be the carbs in the salad dressing as long as it's the oil base. Um, so just do that, you can change it up. You can marinate chicken breasts in that, chicken thighs. I always do chicken thighs that's more fatty or so. You have a higher fat content, brings calories up more than just a chicken breast because they're a lot leaner. Um, and then people talk about not being able to hit their calories also too. So with not being able to hit your calories, it you gotta put in more fat and you'll have more calorie dense. Try and make sure you do three meals and then just break it up by three. But that's why I created True Meal, so it's so much easier to get your calories in. Um, I can't stress that enough. Like, I made, it's a personal trainer created a product. It's not like some random Joe Schmo created some random product just because it's, a, it's, a, it's what everybody else is doing, there's a product out. It was created to fix a problem, and the problem is people don't get enough calories. That's why I created it. It's clean, no carbs. I mean, less than two grams of carbs and no sugar, the best source of ingredients in it. So it was created to fix a problem. Um, but that's it. You've got to hit those calories. I know a lot of people aren't hitting it. Just have your reason why and it'll break down into getting in your calories because you know you have to eat to live, not live to eat. When you start looking at food as nutrients because you have to eat it, you're gonna look at food completely differently to where you're not gonna look at that cake and be like, oh, I'm gonna eat this. No, you don't need to eat it. You, there's nothing good in that cake that's gonna help you um, feel better, get healthier, get in those skinny jeans and absolutely crush your goals. Um, but that's it, guys. I'm gonna wrap this up. I need to go grocery shopping. Uh, but hopefully you guys are all having an awesome day. I should be on later tonight. Hopefully I say that, but where I'm going tonight, I know they're open a little bit later. So I'll get a feel for it. And I'll try and be on around 7.30 Arizona time. I know it's gonna be late for a lot of people who are all on the East Coast. Um, but other than that, have an awesome night. 
And if you have any questions, absolutely comment down here and then save your questions too for tonight so that I can answer all of them for you. Um, other than that, if you guys haven't yet, please go check out the Slim Down program. It's free. Literally my entire weight loss program that I developed and stuff and that I have my clients do what I do to drop weight. It's there. I break everything down so simply. You don't even have to do the workout part. Do first part. Look at the first part and get some information out of there and hopefully it can definitely help you out. Other than that, have an awesome day, guys, and I will see you all later.